In a major boost to India's Indian Ocean strategy, Mauritius has cleared New Delhi to set up a satellite tracking and intelligence station in the Chagos Archipelago, just miles from the US-UK base at Diego Garcia. The facility will enhance India's surveillance of Chinese naval movements, support hydrographic surveys for SSBN patrols, and deepen maritime domain awareness. Backed by $680 million in Indian aid, the PAC cements India's role as the region's key security provider. The Indian Navy has announced that advanced smart ship technologies, proven on a dedicated testbed, will become standard on all major warships from 2026. Powered by thousands of IoT sensors, AI-driven analytics, predictive maintenance, digital bridges, and autonomy-ready architecture, these systems form the Navy's new maritime digital backbone. Designed for faster decisions, longer platform availability, and seamless unmanned teaming, the upgrade marks a major leap in India's maritime combat capability and future readiness. Bengaluru-based Nautical Wings Aerospace has unveiled its indigenous dual-rotor aerospace edition, dual-rotor electric propulsion system, signaling India's rise in high-performance electric flight. Showcased at the Dubai Airshow 2025, the aerospace-certified platform offers high thrust-to-weight performance, low acoustic signature, improved thermal efficiency, and a compact modular design. Built for UAVs, drones, urban air mobility vehicles, and electric VTOL aircraft, the system underscores India's growing private sector strength and its entry into the global electric propulsion arena. India's UAV modernization drive gains momentum, as Defense Secretary Rajesh Kumar Singh reveals that 24 companies have bid for the tri-service tender to acquire 87 male drones. Valued at Rs 20,000 to 30,000 crore, the program mandates strict Make in India requirements, covering airframes, avionics, engines, and sensors. The strong industry response marks a major shift toward domestically built surveillance and strike drones, strengthening India's quest for a self-reliant, next-generation unmanned systems ecosystem. House Chairman firmly defended India's Tejas LCA at ANI's National Security Summit stressing that recent incidents, including the Dubai crash, do not reflect any flaw in the aircraft. He called Tejas a world-class 4.5-generation fighter with an exceptional safety record. The program remains fully on track, backed by 180 orders and rising export interest. He noted that criticism often targets indigenous systems, but India's aviation progress will continue with confidence and resilience. In a major boost to India's naval self-reliance, Dynamatic Technologies has handed over the nation's first fully indigenous vertical launch unit to Bharat Electronics Limited. Designed for hot or cold missile launches, the VLU is believed to support Barak 8-class air defense missiles used on frontline destroyers and frigates. Built with advanced composites and naval-grade systems, the delivery marks a historic moment India's private sector, producing a complete vertical launch unit assembly for integration into combat warships. India has secured the third spot in the Asia Power Index 2025, far ahead of regional peers but still trailing China by a wide margin. The Lowy Institute notes India's steady rise, driven by strong economic recovery, expanding geopolitical influence, and improving military capability. With a score of 40, India crosses the threshold of a major power for the first time. Meanwhile, the US and China retain the top two positions as Asia's dominant powers. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.